In this morning's Money Watch, Starbucks gets some pumpkin spice competition this year. That's right, and U.S. home sales still going strong this morning. Jane King is live in New York following these stories and more. Good morning to you, Margaret Ann and Nicole. That's right. So existing home sales uh, did have another uh, big month during the month of July. In fact, two months in a row. However, the prices uh, are starting to ease a little bit from uh, the record levels that we saw in June. Now, sales were unchanged in the Northeast, but did increase in the Midwest, South and the West. While office building prices are tumbling amid COVID, Commercial Edge says buildings have been fetching lower prices. Commercial buildings are suffering from the Delta variant and lower than expected expected vaccination rates among Americans. And Starbucks bringing back the pumpkin spice latte today, so this marks the earliest return date ever. It was actually a day later last year. Now, Dunkin' rolled out its pumpkin coffee drinks last week. Panera also has a coffee drink this year. There's some others also out there. Well, the NASDAQ did close at a record yesterday. Pfizer shares up 2.5%. Its partner in the COVID vaccine, BioNTech, up by 9% as the FDA gave full approval to their COVID vaccine. And it looks like we'll open about 40 points higher today. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. It definitely is one of those things. We're, tr we're tracking all these so yeah. closely now. We really are. And tracking uh, the pumpkin spice lattes. Uh, as usual. <laughs> yes, this time of year. Thanks, Jane. Hopefully you get to enjoy